video for ISO line 4. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the drawing. So once again we have an object that is similar in size except you'll notice that the length is actually 5 inches rather than the typical 4 inches as you see on some of these other drawings. So we're actually going to make something that's 5 inches long, inch and a half wide, and 2 and a half inches tall. And once again I'm going to go ahead and start with making a solid. So I'm going to hit R for rectangle. I'm going to click once at the origin. Single click, release the mouse, move away from the origin. And once again, this is a little different. I'm going to, I'm going to type in 5, 1.5. I'm going to hit P for push pull. Click once. Move upward. Type in 2.5. And there's the beginning of my solid. Going back to the drawing, you'll see that we have a little notch here in the corner. And a second identical notch below. If we look at the information here on the drawing, we'll know that the distance from here to here, which is the same as this line here, this is a half an inch. The same is happening on the bottom. The distance from here to here, you have to do a little bit of subtraction, so one and a half inches overall width minus one tells me that this is also half an inch. So this one's going to require just a few lines. So let me use the roller on my mouse, going to zoom in. Now I'm going to work on the right side view. I'm going to go ahead and hit T for tape measure. I'm going to click once on this corner. I'm going to move in this direction. I'm going to type in 0.5 or 1 over 2, whatever works for you. And I'm going to go ahead and hit L for line tool. I'm going to click once on my guide point. I'm going to move down. Once again, I'm going to type in 0.5 or, or 1 over 2. And then I'm going to move back. And this time I'm going to see a green line, which means I'm horizontal. Okay, now I'm going to basically do the same thing on the bottom. T for tape measure. I click here on the bottom. Click once. I'm going to move in this direction. You'll see that Google SketchUp automatically found that half inch mark so I don't even have to type anything in but if it doesn't just type in half inch or 0.5 and hit enter. I'm going to hit L for line tool. I'm going to click once here at the guide point. I'm going to come up once again half an inch. I can this time just as an example type in 1 over 2. Same result. And then I'm going to move over here. I should see a green line once again which means I'm parallel to the bottom moving horizontally and just a matter of push-pull. P for push-pull. I'm going to take this surface, click once, move all the way back, do the same thing on the bottom, move all the way back, and you're done. Now a lot of times people have these additional guidelines. You have options. Uh, you can erase them if you want. And sometimes if you go um, underneath view, you can also turn off guides and they'll also disappear. Either option will work. Go ahead and save your work and move on to the next drawing.